Grove Street. Home. Well, at least it was until I fucked everything up. Everything was ruined, they keep telling me. Nobody paid any- Oh no. Nobody paid any attention at all to the fact that I built a lovely base. Everybody cleanly ignored that one. No, no, no. What was the- what was every- every Discord message, every comment I saw, every same belligerent child screeching up my video? Did they once say, wow, that's a nice base, good work? No, of course they didn't. It was the same bloody comment over and over. I can't believe he forgot to build our cooling pipes. <laughs> I spend eight hours on an episode and you all mock me relentlessly for forgetting to do nuclear science. Oh, but the joke's on you, of course, because now not only have I connected everything up with bloody coolant pipes, I still have a nice base. Ooh, Rim Rims. Hello, welcome to Rimmold. Uh, you may have noticed, my good Rim friends, that I've done a little building off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so to cut a very, very, very long story short, Rim Rims, I removed every single one of these blocks, block by block. The vault walls, the citadel walls, they both can't be ever removed. Uh, you can't deconstruct them, you can only remove them by physically destroying them with damage. Or, as I found out, you could hand remove every single block, bit by bit, one at a time. Because, of course, I mean, when this was all filled in, how am I supposed to get to this block if this block is in the way? Holy shit, I think it actually works. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they go four hours of my life. Now, the purpose of this, of course, is to eventually allow us to get some defenses. I hollowed out the whole thing. That means we can use these external defensive structures. We can put big old guns in there. They can shoot void. Everybody's happy. Except for me, who had to do it all by hand, piece by piece. Now, there have been an influx recently of, I can only presume, combat extended players who say things like, Why don't you just use death mode to solve life's problems? And I... I totally disagree fundamentally with that concept. I play Remod as a story generator. Now, to be fair, it's a sandbox. You can do what you like with it. If you want to play a combat simulator, that's fine. If you want to use it for sex, <laughs> that's on you. Speaking as someone who has looked at hundreds and hundreds of tech support logs, all containing Remod job and its various different horrifying submods. If I see the words anal tightness submod in yet another Hugsley blog, I might scream. Anyway, whatever you do with Rimworld, that's on you. I like to use it as a story generator. That's what the channel's always been about. And of course, building it scratches my SimCity 2000 itch. What can I say? I did do it all manually by hand. Uh, and I've recorded the entire thing. I'm obviously not going to show the whole thing because it goes on for 47 minutes. Uh, but it is just me placing a block going to speed four until he's built the wall. And the best part is he doesn't do it manually, as you can see. Sorry, he doesn't do it automatically, as you can see. Because they are permanent structures, they won't replace them. They'll haul the blocks to it, and that's the end. I then have to manually say, construct, construct, construct. And my god, did it take a long time. Anyway, that's that. That's all. I also changed some of the floors because I didn't like the aesthetic. I'm still not super happy. It looks a little low contrast. It looks a little mon monotonous. But we'll deal with that later. So without further ado, we're going to need some power in the grid because it completely drained dry during all that time. I didn't want to do anything like actually mechanical off camera here. Uh, the power grid's completely drained. We need some power, uh, 175 watts, to kickstart the nuclear reactor, right? Along with you know, like 500 watts for the turbines, blah, blah, blah. I I've turned the drills off so there's not really that much power usage. We've got a lot of idle machines, but nothing in the base really uses any power besides like digital storage, but even that isn't a huge amount. Let's blast down some temporary nuclear power kickstarting generators. A couple of solar panels. I guess that couldn't hurt. And normally this would be a pain in the ass, but thanks to the incredible power tab mod, we can see just about everything that's using all of the power in the base. So let's get them all turned off again temporarily, because we're, we're about to make more power than we could ever possibly need. Ooh, it's on! That was enough power to kickstart it. I had to throw down a solar ray. I knew this was going to be a problem when I let the power run dry. We had to, uh, to obviously try and fight to get that back on. But now... If we go ahead and manage this reactor, cooling capacity 5.2. Okay, okay. That started slow. We can actually see the cooling we've got now. Oh, look at this. It's barely putting a dent in it. Ramp it. Ramp, my boy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> UNLIMITED POWER! Somebody say 101,000 watts excess. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Let's not get too carried away here. Let's fill it up with the rest of the rods. Because we're only using 10% of our cooling capacity. Fill this man. Fill- Oh no. Oh, that's annoying. 
<laughs> okay, I'll see you in another 45 minutes. Eject all of the fuel. Give me that. I, I don't know if we'll have enough capacity, I'll be honest with you, to go, like, butt wild with it. 100% right off the bat. I feel like that might have some pretty disastrous consequences. And then as soon as the power's online, I can do whatever I want. All in on the super soldier program. All in on the psi powers. All in on the weapons research. Because somebody said you don't have to shoot living targets with the guns to fulfill the research requirement, right? Which is what we're stuck on right now. Sorry, let me just try and find where I put everything in the base. Here it is. Uh, if we go over to the research tab for the big old fella that I'm using. There it is, the Marauder. We have to gather another five points weapons data. We can shoot anything. We don't have to we don't have to shoot void or mechanoids. Now while we're filling up the reactor, let's address the elephant in the room, or in this case the enormous horrifying void monster in the room. That is void. Now I, I have tested it in, in dev mode. I'm I'm happy to use dev mode when it comes to obviously like tech support, making sure things are working. Uh, I started a new saver, tested it with, with dev mode. Void can raid us. We are absolutely a, an acceptable void target. We've just gotten very, very, very lucky, and there's a pretty easy explanation to why that is. Pretty much every raid recently, besides a couple of conversion chambers, have been mechanoids, right? And the reason for that is not only does Vanilla Expanded add its own mechanoid faction, the advanced mechanoids, not only does the base game have its own mechanoid faction, so that's two potential raiders to, to turn up instead of Void. You also get mech clusters, psychic ship drops, the, the, the sunblock, any, anything. Loads of mechanoid-based incidents. There's 90 things that can go wrong with mechanoids, but only, say, a few things that can go wrong with Void. It's less of the fact that we got lucky that we haven't had Void raiding us. It's you'd have to get very unlucky to have Void raiding us, because there's a ton of other things that can raid us too. Uh, here's the other thing I discovered in my testing. Uh, I was told Void have been rebalanced, so they're not so over the top. Let me tell you right now, they're still, uh, they're still very over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen it. It did kind of spoil this prize a little bit, but I had to double check things were working for the series, right? They are very strong. They are very strong. From the very small amount I've seen, they are still definitely worthy of fear. Because I feel like so far, we've gotten away with too much. But there's a, re there's a reason we need to be afraid still. I mean, me in some very shiny armor, 78 wearing marine gear, and then Grigna. Oh my god, he's still in the pod. Bro, you've been in there for like a week. <laughs> I guess, I guess when I saved the game at the end of yesterday's episode, I didn't actually have, I hadn't started the operation at that point. So he's just been stood in a pod for like five days. <sighs> Grignor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's try that again, fella. One more rod. And then, boom, we can start it up. Now, I'm going to start slowly with this. I'm not just going to go all in because this is still... Kind of silly. <gasps> Grigna's done already. Holy shit. Uh, psychic resistance. Oh, I love the idea of Grigna being so smooth brain and moronic that no psychic powers affect him. <laughs> what is that one? Metamorphosis. I can turn him into a dog or a turtle. Grigna's no furry. Uh, we're going to go with... We are going to go with psychic resistance. Enjoy. I said Grigna's no furry. The man literally only ever wears fursuits. Maybe I've misjudged him. Right, let's crank it. Oh my god. Look at the power. It, it, it runs. It runs. It bloody runs. We need more transformers. We, we can't physically turn all the power into usable power. Oh my god. 450,000 watts excess. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Let's throw down some more transformers then. 750,000 watts excess. What do we do with that? Well, now I know that Void is still a force definitely to be feared. I think firstly we'll get rid of these solar panels and this geothermal generator again. Let's make sure that everything is turned back online. Oh, I'm right, and that's a very fair point. There was a comment in the last episode from somebody who said, don't sleep on the, the, the animal speech power. You can use it on the Void creatures. And that is kind of genius. I don't think you can tame the Void creatures. I'm pretty sure they're specifically hard-coded to not allow you to do that for fairly obvious reasons. Maybe this gets around it. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. Worst case scenario, Grigna is able to shout at a big Void monster so much that it scares them into not fighting anymore. That seems pretty Grigna. Now, I want this to be defended because these are not only going to be obviously quite useful to defense, but we're basically turning them into enormous weak points that are going to let Void be able to <laughs> jump right the way through and go to like the back of the base effectively so we do have to be somewhat careful with this how much how many hit points have these got Ten thousand each 
I don't think that'll be enough. And it's also kind of cool and kind of annoying that when the vault doors lose power, you can't get through them anymore. That's that's the point, right? It does mean that if Void get a little too comfortable, we could just cut the power to the whole thing. This is what I mean by uh, somewhat annoying. <laughs> I can't get to this wall to take the damn thing apart. Experiment success, Grigner. He has gained the power of animal speech. What powers have you got again? Weapons expert, martial artist, psychic resistance, and animal speech. He's, he's a little lackluster, in my opinion. Psychic resistance is good, but I thought you probably aren't going to do that. It just might prevent friendly fire from me? <gasps> What's that? So it has become capable of landing very precise hits in frantic melee. All attacks hit vital organs in brackets, brain, and heart. Granted, I, I, I presume that doesn't mean that you penetrate through the armor, right? All the all the hits will hit them, but but if they're still wearing a helmet, it's gonna hit the helmet first. That could be nuts. And what is this one? Prideful. That seems that seems almost perfect for Grigner. What is this? Invisibility, sickly. Ah, uh, all hit, even in frantic melee, all from very long range. Hold on, sorry, Grigner, I might steal this from you. So it's not just a melee move. It's also... You can do that with gun? Because that would be actually fucking nuts. I don't need bulletproof skin when I'm immortal. Oh, maybe I do. I don't need super speed when I've got so many bionics already giving me 286% moving. Where the hell am I going to run to that fast? Grigna, I would like to borrow that power. I'm sorry. I'm, it's so good for him. Don't get me wrong. It's better for me. <laughs> Give me that. Well, sorry, I meant extract rather than remove weakness. Give me that. I would really I would really like that one, please. And then we also had a transport pod crash. Hello? Uh enemy refugee avoid. Oh, it's just like a random I, uh, somebody that they've cast aside, clearly. Humanitism, formerly void. They converted away from classic void, and void seems to have just dumped them on our doorstep. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't be taking in new people. They are they are still Void, though, aren't they? They, they are still count, uh, uh, count as a member of the Void faction. Void is Void, after all. Sorry, 78 has a bit of a chip on her shoulder in that respect. Easy. What do you mean, child, my brother? Can I, leave, can I leave that in the episode? Oh, you can commit to it. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not mention that ever again. It didn't happen. Nothing happened. There was no child refugee. And if there was, I certainly would have saved them. Oh, no. No. I said we had an image problem, and then you <laughs> kicked to death a child refugee. <laughs> <laughs> got tears in my eyes not at the not at the thought of that at the at how silly that whole situation was i need to just clarify here now i was i was not laughing at that tragic situation <laughs> oh my god that's giving me a headache oh i didn't even i didn't even think twice about it i just thought oh they're from void they've got to be like some void soldier that like a turncoat like 78 but they're still, they're still, oh, I mean, she's one to talk. She's also still void. 78, how could you? That's unthinkable. I would never do a thing like that. That's absolutely disgusting. Oh, I put this down so I get concrete better. Baby. <laughs> Might be the worst thing I've ever done in RimWorld. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to play some more <laughs> RimWorld now. Uh, so we've got Assassin. I've, I've got to give that to me because that's just, it's ludicrous. Surely that's going to make me always hit vital organs. I'm going to hit far more frequently because of the 50% aiming time. I can't not think about it now. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm gonna have to try and make myself forget. I can't play. I have such a headache. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I think now, with the right weapon, we might do some real damage to Void. Again, the problem is you've got to get through their shields, their armor, blah, blah, blah. Then they've got their bionics too, which will add some body part HP. So this is gonna be uh, a real mess. This is going to be a real mess, but this is the kind of character we're going to need to be able to stop them. Next upgrade for 78 has to be armor, because the armor she's got right now is just no good against Void. The real power-up will come from when we capture the first Void person. When we get raided by them once, and we uh, we manage to drop them, do the autopsy. Oh, let's see them leave their comments now, shall we? Advanced nuclear power complete. You can now build advanced reactors in the Zeus turbine. Who do you think you are? I am. Look at this nuclear... 
catastrophe waiting to happen. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. I didn't even need 600,000 watts. What the hell am I going to spend it all on? Well, as a wise man once said, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think we'll stick with the Marauder for now, but somebody did say that the obelisks, I think it was, uh, they are automatic. Automatic targeting and firing. The man is required for manual targeting only, so these actually could be pretty good. I don't think they'll do much to void, but it's something we don't have to worry about. Very much just set it and forget it, right? Let's throw down a Marauder. And uh, let's do a little, let's do a little blasting. And remember, Thomas, if you've never played it before, is is very deep. Because after we build the gun, we can then build a bunch of different upgrades for the gun. There's loads of different various things we can craft and install into it manually that will give it some extra little benefits. I think the majority of them will unlock when we actually finish, <laughs> finish researching like a weapon. Let's give this a go then. So if that is... Okay, that's hooked up as a power. It needs a man's weapon console. I think we could throw down anything. I think we could just, like, put down furniture or whatever. Uh, but the comment I saw specifically said throw down just a sleeping spot because they are targetable. Let's get you on the sax. And then let's get you uh, blasting. Where is it? Blasting that. And that, in theory, should count towards. Yes. <laughs> the sound design is superb isn't it and in the little animations too i just love the attention to detail how are we looking on that one uh 50 out of 50. i presume that's it far are we done then is that maybe the i guess it'll ping in a second and say hey nice work genius ah there we go it took a little while you're no longer limited to building one marauder and existing prototypes are now combat ready oh, oh and then right on cue look at this we've got meps we've got elk we've got urs and scad and drive actuators means they turn a little faster so all of those are going to be really good upgrades uh obelisk directed energy weapon yeah let's do that one i don't need to take powers away why did i think i needed to take powers away we've got we've already got six powers remember i've already got celebrity and then of course we've got assassin on top of that now wow Oh, this is going to be insane. So you're always aiming for vital organs. You aim twice as fast, and then you aim from twice the distance. Now we just need some sort of speed power. Fire faster. Is that even possible? Oh, I mean, we're not quite ready to have this conversation yet. But we do have the equipment reinforcer. That's something for the future, though. Okay, real gamer moments are over. We've done our RGB research. Now, in theory, we just throw down the obelisk and get more weapons data, right? There it is. Uh, oh, it's slightly smaller. That's good. Maybe I can pack some of these down the side then. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, I definitely built this too small. I can. It's just not easy to get back there to do, like, maintenance, is it? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just throw one there for now, and then we can mirror it on the other side too. Get a nice bit of weapon variety going on. Are these things inevitably going to explode when damaged? I guess I'll put a wall between them. As long as we've got this kind of forward arc. Okay, sure, they can't fire to the side, but why is that relevant? Okay, here we go. So how do I test this? I can't manually I can't manually aim that one. Oh, no, we can. We can get on the console. Uh. Oh, very good. You're very good. Okay, are you on there? Are we ready to go? Let's do some weapons testing. This poor sleeping spot. Oh. That's pretty good. I don't think it's, again, going to be the, the be-all, end-all of void. And one more. Done. Easy. Oh, okay, you can you can stop firing now. You can stop firing. Go about your business. Ooh. Okay. Fantastic. I think let's go for some upgrades at this point. Oh, I guess so. That seems fine. Oh my god. Plus lens module, beam splitter, drive actuators. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Where do I even begin? Control rod actuator increases the safetyness of the nuclear reactor. Oh, I don't want that then. <laughs> Wait. Did yesterday not end in a pod? Oh, it did. It did, because Grigner was in the pod. That's right. Okay, that's right. I was right. I didn't technically start the operation. Ooh, I thought I'd ruined everything then. I that Grigner's kind of become the de facto test, test, test boy, so that we can try and get better powers for 78 and me. Okay, so these external embrasures, we're going to have to build out of whatever our strongest material is. I presume uranium? Maybe we can even get, like, say, depleted uranium with, uh, say, points on that, 1,500. Maybe we can eventually get, like, depleted uranium with the nuclear reactors. That would make a lot of sense. 1,600 for plasteel. We do have a lot of plasteel, especially because I've replaced a bunch of floor tiles. Too bad in mind, these were all made of plasteel, so they've been swapped out for concrete babies. We've got loads left over. l -tags? That's a flex. Oh, my God, a whole base out of l -tags, though. It's got shitty hit points, but we could, we could do something about that. Okay, okay, plasteel for now. 
Plasteel for now, LTEX for later. Bro, Operation Flex on Void. I, I just need to know that I can beat Void before we before we go a little crazy with it. Ooh. Was that big brain? Super learning. That's not very Grigna. Super jump though. Ooh, gives him big strong calves. Hyper metabolism. That's something we can get rid of. Uh, makes him a psychopath. No, no, no. Let's give him super jumps. I don't think super jumps is good enough to give to anyone else, but Grigna's gonna be the melee character, right? So that one that one's pretty good. Biological jump pack. I think uh I think another super power for the guy couldn't hurt. He definitely needs some combat benefits, because right now he's a little lackluster. And there we go. Atom module. You can now produce atom modules at the Rematomics Machining Table. There's probably a poor time to ask. What did the atom module actually do? Makes it possible to detect enemy threats at greater distances, acting as an early warning system. Ooh. Airborne attacks will leave a little room for warning, and smaller groups of ground units will be hard to detect, but large ground-based fighting forces will be easily detected. So big old manhunter packs of void monsters and stuff like that is still relevant, but it's not the be-all, end-all. Um, MEPS, what does that do? Increases the power delivery system of any room atomics energy weapon to boost its maximum power. You know what we really should do on the subject of that? Maybe throw down some more of these batteries, uh, the, the PPCs that are designed specifically to power the weapons. Might need to fill some rooms with them, to be honest. Probably couldn't hurt. Fireballs or empathy? I don't like either of these. I think we'll probably just take the L on this one, strip this out, and put it in storage somewhere. I guess we'll take fireball for now. That seems more useful. Yeah, I'm throwing down just like a whole bunch of these because the last thing we need is for the guns not to have enough power. And I mean, we've definitely got the power. We just don't have the storage. You know, I'm really feeling another superpower. I'm really feeling it. Oh, that looks good. I don't know what it is, but that looks good. Regenerating limbs. Regenerating limbs for the man who's not immortal. That seems bloody great. We'll grow back after some time has passed. It's certainly not a replacement for immortality, but this we just got for free. Thank you, Gregna. Come on. We don't need any more mechanoids at this point. I'm done. I'm over. I'm over mechanoids at this point. Oh, that's a lot of guys. What the hell are those? Oh, it's the incendiary mines. <laughs> Poor drones. That seems unnecessarily cruel. Totally unintentional, but we can get two more orders and one obelisk within the uh, embrasures that I built there, so that works out pretty well. I should probably swap that out. Oh, let's just give him the biggest line of sight possible. Oh, no! <laughs> How did that happen? I thought we had, like, minus 60% failure chance. I suppose I, I've maybe given him too many powers. Oh, shit. Well, sorry, Gregna. Um... Put him in the med pod. It'll be good as new. I mean, your head's on backwards now, but other than that, you'll probably be fine. Ah, there we go. What? Trait removed. Grigna had the following trait removed via med pod treatment. Shell casket. What, you mean because I put him in that war casket thing for 30 seconds to see if I had the ingredients for it? Oh. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Turns out all this time, Grigna was in indescribable agony. Whoops, <laughs> my mistake. I just love taking apart uh, irremovable walls. Might be my favorite thing to do. Days later, it is done. I am finally free. No more walls that need to be removed. Now we can just focus on defenses. I'm making some fancy fellas. Give me some guns, just give me some guns. Oh, you still haven't got basic turret research, by the way, because we don't have gas operation. Ah. Uh... Charge blasters. I'm not going to do anything against Void. Big old gun. Oh, it's off center. Oh, well, that's uh, that's a bigger crime. <laughs> I'd rather use the shit turrets than that. Back to the unending research, desperately looking for plate armor. That's what I was about to say. Uh, any sort of gun turret would be good. Just gas just gas operation. Grigna cloning. I have in the background here been setting up for Grigna cloning. I moved some of the psychic stuff down into one of the spare rooms. Then I put the war casket in the other spare room on the other side. Because I figured this is going to be the Grigna, the, the Grigna cloning area, right? Let's get to work on that. Why not? I haven't looked at this in a very long time. Sleeve incubator. And then the sleeve caskets are where we store the Grigna clones for further use. So we'll throw in a couple of those as well. Oh, well, that doesn't line up, does it? The decryption bench we use to reverse engineer the, uh, the, the cold school stacks that we get. We might be able to craft our own. I'm not sure. So normally you have to decrypt stacks that you already have. Yeah, there we go. Rather than just crafting them. So we might have to go out there into the world and actually bloody find something here. Uh, I want a new Grigna, please. Grow sleeve. Can I clone it from a person? Based on existing porn, including endogenes. Ooh. Uh, well, hold on. It would make more sense to wait until we've got some endogenes in Grigna, because right now he's just standard Grigna type, right? He'll have all of this stuff, but we could we could definitely do something beyond that. Sorry, are you sleeping in the freezer? 
Why has this man got... <laughs> Why hasn't he got a bedroom? Oh, I feel so cruel now. I moved the war casket stuff over there because I thought, oh, we're going to need even more rooms for some of this other stuff. Um, I guess we could use the spare room as a bedroom for Grigna. What, and then me and 78 just stay in the vault away from him? Oh, we've got so many spare rooms in here, though. All right, you know what, Grigna? You can sleep in the vault as well. I'll allow it. The time of having no turrets at all might be over. And maybe I could craft a better gun than this gun that I've just had since the very bloody start. <gasps> Oh, advanced batteries though I really want. No, no, no. We gotta go gun turrets. This is the, the first step to, of course, much better turrets. I'm not even sure the highest tier gun turrets, because it's just the, the the more vanilla turrets mod, right? I'm not sure that will actually help out very much. It gives us a fallback, right? If the if the rim atomic stuff doesn't work super well. Maybe I should just be focusing on that. I'm locking the doors until you found this bloody research. Ooh. Oh. I mean it's a, it's a start. Maybe shredder turrets after that comes. Oh my god, I haven't used this mod in ages. I remember the shredder turrets. Actual. Oh my god, that's void weapon, isn't it? Corpse destroyed, dusk mag, dust striker. Uh, it's a sensible option, but I probably should go for it. Waste pack atomizer. It's one of the things that we've needed for a long time. I've just been kind of ignoring it and filling this with a shitload of toxic waste. Even though it's going to be a long time before we can engineer like the perfect Grigna weapon to fight void, I think we should still clone him how he is. Just in case he dies. I, I would like something here. Oh, that's so cool. You get all of our germline genes. Oh, and then you can select a specific one to install into him as well. Oh, nice. No, keep him how he is. We need 240 Neutramine. We should set up a Neutramine factory then. We even have that much Neutramine as it is currently. Uh, 68. No, we can't even do it. Okay. Uh, I might have to use these rooms a bit more sensibly then. Ooh, that looks fun. Coastal batteries, tank bunkers. Okay, go on. Go on then. Carry on. The mechanoids have woken up, but I don't think I really care. I don't give a shit about that. Xenogenetics. Hey, there we go. Gene assembler, gene bank, gene extractor, everything we need for Gregna. Shit. That's a bloody neutromian synthesis at the top, and I skipped completely over it. Oh. <laughs> Funny I could read. You're such a nice person. That's so nice. I'm so glad that I got that celebrity status so that everybody loves me. Shredder turrets and that leads to precision turrets. Again, don't think it'd be any use against Void, but we'll give it a go. Just go butt wild. Honestly, just, just go mad. Just go butt wild. Lock yourself in. Go insane. Because my guy barely needs food. He barely needs to... And look, he's just, he's just not doing anything. So you can stay there in the lab and just go research to research to research. Just... Finish it all. Give me all the tools I'll need to take on Void. Why not? What are you people doing over here? My Agra hand. Oh, and the Chlorodryad got destroyed. Oh, you fool. <laughs> oh, you fool. Turn around. Fine. Fine. Okay. Well, we can't afford these distractions. There's lots of research to do. We can get them to go to the base. We put Grigner on the turret and we test these out. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. No. Far too intelligent. Grigna. Why, when I set you to search and destroy, do you insist on going up to them and roundhousing them? It's very unnecessary. Horrible distraction. Friggin' mechanoids. Now is the time. Now is the time. You can go free. I'll lock them away again. I'll lock them away until I... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's not a baby. That's a grown-ass man. I suppose it doesn't grow them to the age of baby, though. It grows them to the age of full-grown person, though. So it doesn't have to follow baby mechanics, like real-life baby, baby, baby workings. Oh, baby, Grigna adds a sleep paralysis demon level of frightening. Wowie. Uh, what was I gonna do? New training, that's right. They'd already filled the machine before, so that's why we we're able to grow one Grigna, but that's not enough for me. New training infuser, here we go. Um, there's not really much room in here, is there? In hindsight. And we have a quote-unquote genetics lab. I can really do some stuff with Grigna. Uh, we haven't got any, we haven't got any gene packs, though, because I've been eating them all. <laughs> Yeah, if only I was slightly more patient, we could have gotten an army of immortal Grigna clones. 
Yet instead, we we ate the whole thing. I used to th start to throw down a um a mechanoid lab, but to be honest, I feel like the mechanoid's probably just gonna get bodied. <gasps> oh my god, is it even gonna work? Oh shit, I think it may be broken, but let's give it a go. Oh <gasps> my god, where are you? The sanguifages are arriving and no one is here. Please turn around, Void. Well, that explains why we haven't been raided by Void. Do we? Oh, there, no, there's no one here. <laughs> Hello. Jean-Pierre Dunbar. Where's your friend? Do we just want to grab them and, and steal their xenotype now? I suppose not really. I probably want to put them in the gene ripper. What's the best way to go about this? Because I'd like to get... I, I, I don't necessarily just want to... What do you mean baseliner? Shut up about that. Where's the other one gone? You better not both be baseliners. Otherwise, I'm going to be very annoyed. What about you? What are you? Also baseliner. Is this a... This is a problem, do you think? They're not even real sanguifages. They're just cosplayers. I'm sorry, this is what you needed access to my top secret facility to have a meeting about. So, Jenny, what's cracking? Join off from, from Jean-Pierre? No, no, reject. Finish the quest, please. Xenogerm implantation. I accept sanguifage xenogerm. Go. Go. Do it right now. Turn 78 into a horrible... That is this even going to work? Or is she just going to come out baseliner? Uh. Oh! Okay, good enough. Uh, the image hasn't worked. But that's definitely... Oh, she hasn't lost her immortality, has she? I mean, it doesn't matter because she's, she's now immortal and deathless. That's cool. So now we can just basically scan the genes that we want to plug into Grigna. So we can just take Deathless and Archive Metabolism and whatever. Take that piece by piece and plug that into Grigna's sleeves. Then we've got uh, effectively Immortal Grigna, right? Why did I not just scan my own immortality? I've totally forgotten how, how anything works. You can, you can do that, right? Wait, can you? You need like a gene. It's not the gene. It's not the gene ripper. What is it you do? Gene extractor. My God. I don't know how any of this works. I need at least three or four thousand hours in biotech before I'm going to remember how any of this works. Genuinely feel like I'm going a little bit mad. <laughs> Hold on. Surely you can just rip my genes because I'm immortal. I don't necessarily want to risk that, but it would certainly make the whole process a lot less painful, right? Otherwise, we've got to randomly extract... What have you got, like a 1 in there, 15 chance of getting it? This may permanently kill me, but what doesn't kill me makes Grigna stronger. No, what does kill me? I haven't thought this through. Uh, here, let's, let's get rid of that. Then. Let's put the Ripper up there. That way I can't really confuse them. Uh, you go there, safely away. Just totally forgot. There's me saying, oh, no, I wasted the immortality. As if, uh, as if there isn't another way to get it. Uh, I, I'm going mad. I'm like actually going insane. Uh, oh, yeah, Rocket Complex. Oh, that's quite fun. Thank you. Let's enter the Gene Ripper. Will this kill me, though? If I say Immortal, is this actually going to legitimately kill me? <sighs> give it a go. Because I can also give him Table Resistance, which is arguably even better. So let's test it on something that isn't so important. Immortality. He's, he gets to say the line in the most unexpected way possible. What begins in the pod must end in the pod. Oh no, what have I done? A pretty slow episode today, I'll be the first to admit. There was lots of just do research, do building, wait for stuff to be done, right? And and we haven't exactly had much action. I have a plan regarding the mechanoids because they are vastly overshadowing, no pun intended, the void. So I think what we need to do is is sideline them a little bit in, a, in the most natural way possible. Maybe we just nuked a lot. I'm not sure, but I, I'll, I'll try and think of some ideas because right, it was supposed to be me versus Void and it's ended up with being me and some friends fighting mechanoids, which isn't really the point. No more build base. It's super soldiers now. That's a nice fresh concept that isn't horribly overdone. <laughs> I mean, look, it's from what? The, the game itself is built on that concept, right? With biotech and bionics and mechanators and sanguifages. Rimworld have done this. I'm just following on from it. Thank you. Thank you especially, though, to the executive producer patrons for allowing the channel to exist in the first place for keeping content coming despite everything. All of you watching, you freeloaders, you better thank these people because without them, I would not be here doing this. I'd have to get a real job for real people where I'd have to actually do work. Thank you <laughs> to Under the Couch, Lord Snarky, Talia, Rock, Liddy's, Afel Tail, Taff, 
James Rimenschneider, Master of Worlds 22, Ait, Killer Clown, Atticos, Brody Miller the Raging Idiot, Cubes of Ham, Master Mary Malice, Tragen, Knight B, Dr. Simba, Sindelcrafter. You're welcome. Shadow Blade, Mordecai Zuba, Choppy the Bear, Aaron W0, Sabine Shadow Hill, I am Sagatair, Sajuk 1986, Borderlands 2 Krieg, Nikki Sticks, and David Turner. Thank you for joining me. Please come back soon. We're free. No more build base. Now it's just making Gregner as strong as possible. I ain't me. It should be me. Forget about fucking Gregner. I'm gonna kill him off. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. Uh, while they're filling up the nuclear reactor, let's address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the big, enormous, horrifying black leaper in the. <laughs>